Good morning, everybody. Another new day is here. It's Saturday when I am filming this, and we are on our way home. Let me get this mic out of your shot here. There you go. It likes to hang down there and say hello to you fine people. Can you believe it? I like saying hi to you too. So we're uh, going to be home in about nine hours. Well, nine hours of driving and we'll be at the yard. We're going to drop this trailer and uh, go home. And Monday I got to go grab this trailer again and bring it back to Portersville Prairie and deliver it. But that's besides the point. Tonight we're going to be home. So 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, I'm guessing I'll probably be home around like 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. I would like to say more around 6, but every time I say I'm going to be home at a certain time, I'm usually a couple of hours later than that because, you know, trucking. So I'm going to hope to be home for like 6 or 7, but I'm going to expect to be home around 10 or 11. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. I'm a big fan of banana bread. Okay, so I went in, got my breakfast, got my coffee. Get the truck started again. Jeez, I barely turned you off and you're already cold. Got my liquid life. Or as my buddy Moses would say, that life liquid that they call liquid life. Ah! What are you doing here? I don't... Ah! Everything's falling down. All right. Throw that up there. Take this down. Clip that in there. Make sure my computer's not gonna fall out. Oh, Diesel, your breakfast! We almost forgot! Come on down. Come on down, bud. Come on, get out of there. All right, okay. Are you hungry? Look what I got for you. Look what I got for you. There you go. You got water, you have water. Good. Good boy, you deserve it, buddy. Everybody deserves breakfast. And you deserve to get that crusty stuff out of your eyes. There you go. Here, we already took you out. You don't need to wear this all day. There you go. Take that off there. Hey. All right, enjoy, buddy. I worked hard for that stuff. All right, let's get out of here. So Swift Current is cold this morning, very nipply. Let's get out of here. Everything is working. I have sent in my pre-trip. Doors are locked so I don't fall out. Lights are on so people see me. Headlights are not always just so that you can see. It's also so that people can see you. Oh shoot, let's put the heat to the floor so that my windshield cools down so I don't have to use my wipers today. Crack the windows a bit to cool it off a little faster. Okay, are you guys ready? Or you guys just wanna stare at that building across the road a little longer? No, you're ready? Okay, here comes a nice truck. You wanna see it? It's a pickup truck. It's a GMC. Look at that thing. Denali. That is a beautiful piece of machinery. Tell you what, if I wasn't already married, me and that truck would have a happy life together. I already have one. I have a Silverado. And the GMC, Sena uh, GMC Denali is actually my wife's favorite truck. She loves those things. I'm more of a fan of the Chevys. I think they have a little bit more of an aggressive look. And uh, the GMCs have a little bit more of a luxury look or a comfort look. Here we go. Come on, girl. Come on. Let's go. I know it's cold. I know I don't want to get up either. We gotta go. Weather's gotta be about minus 25 outside. 350 meters. Take ramp to highway one. Come on. It's slippery too. Yeah, the sun just making its appearance, making its debut for the day. Just off to our right over there. The time is just before 9 a.m. Cool this windshield off a little bit more. And it's time to get going. The last day before we get home. Take ramp to Highway One East. Oh, what do you think I'm gonna do, Mandy? 
I want to go home. I'm going to go on Highway 1 East. I know how to get there. Don't need to boss me around. So boss. He's yelling at me. side of Regina now. Next big city is uh, Brandon, I guess. Got a little ways to go yet, but as you can tell, clearly, it has warmed up quite a bit. It is now uh, a balmy minus 27 degrees. I'm in here in a t-shirt. Might put on a pair of shorts soon. You know, enjoying the warm weather. Starting to think about the beach quite a bit. Camping. It's gonna be great. I have another five hours to go to our yard yet. At least I don't gotta do a lot of work once I get to the yard. I just gotta drop this trailer and get out of there. The work will be on Monday. And hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer. I mean, I know this is warm already, right? But I, I think it can get a little bit warmer yet. Just a little bit. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't argue that. Maybe Monday will be a nice summery day. You never know. I mean, people keep telling me that uh, the whole planet is getting warmer. I'm still waiting on it. I'm still waiting. It's still a normal winter up here for us. Nothing too extreme. Hasn't been colder than it usually is. Hasn't been warmer than it usually It's been pretty much exactly the same as it's been my entire life. I know these jokes are old, right? <laughs> Everybody's heard those jokes. Even the president of the U.S. has used these jokes already. <laughs> They've made their way around the soil. So I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'm beating the dead horse at this point. At least it's a sunny day. The, the weird thing about Manitoba, or let's say the prairies of Canada in general, when it's sunny out in wintertime, it's actually colder because all the hot air gets sucked up into the upper atmosphere and cools off, right? But when it's cloudy out, it actually holds the warm air closer to the air and actually stays warmer. So it's the like opposite from summer. So when you have a nice sunny day here, you know it's going to be really cold, which is kind of a bummer. Because you look at the forecast, you're like, oh, wow, clear skies, sun's out. You go look through the windows, you're like, oh, it's a nice sunny day. You go outside and your nose freezes and falls off. That's a little tip for you. If you ever come visit, if it's sunny out in January and February, uh, bring an extra coat. Well, there's my customer off to the right. Delivering there on Monday. So we're gonna go past it for now. Make our way back here then. Looks like there's people there. Huh. They told me that they wouldn't unload today. So I gotta go back on Monday. It's 
pretty late tonight right now anyways it's five o'clock right now so most of them are probably just on their way out going home Upright to highway 100 stopping in here at flying j just west of winnipeg manitoba i want to fill my tanks up so i parked the truck with full tanks of fuel tonight because it's supposed to go down to about minus 32 again plus the wind chill i'm gonna put some anti-gel in there again and uh fill her on up always got to be careful this time of year but like i keep saying i keep saying it just another week or two, and things will start warming up again. And then we can look forward to next winter. <laughs> oh, look at this. One, two, three pumps shut down. Oh, wait, no, just two. This one's open. Okay. Now, this is shocking. I don't even have to wait for a pump here. Wow. Look at this. Oh yeah, it's good diesel fuel. I am feeling pretty thirsty. There we go. It's the next morning. And this is that life liquid we call liquid life. Oh, it's the good stuff. So I've been editing videos here just trying to catch up a little bit. Chevy, did you miss me? I missed my rabbit. <laughs> it's not yours. Chevy, don't wreck that. That's that's Frankie's. I took that with on the trip for diesel and I totally forgot that I put it in one of my bags. <laughs> Chevy, I don't trust you with that. That is Frank's. Diesel takes much better care of it than you do. Here you go, Frank. Here you go, Frank. Thank you. We got a ton of snow while I was gone. Try that again. We've got a ton of snow here. We got almost three feet while I was gone this last trip. It's insane. It's been really cold here lately. Last night went down to about minus 32 again, and all week it's been just frozen. Here, but we made it through. We're alive. It was colder here than where I was. I escaped it a bit. It's supposed to be getting warmer now. I got to deliver that load on Monday. Uh, I gotta go all the way back to Porters La Prairie there to deliver it, but at least I gotta be home for the weekend. And it's supposed to be a high of minus 11, I think, on Monday, and a low of minus 15. That'll make it a lot easier. And here she is, the woman of the hour. Please excuse the get up. Let me get back on that baby pretty mm -hmm. soon. Yeah, Britt and I are both getting into more of a, a fitness kick, trying to create good habits. Uh, she's been uh, making good use of the treadmill. I actually did yesterday too. I was on there for 30 minutes and I want to do that more often as well. And wool socks and jeans. Yeah. And no water bottle. He'll learn. He'll learn. She made fun of me. Just got home. She made fun of me already. She can't help herself. I love you babe. That's what I'm here for. To cook you meatloaf and make fun of you. Life of a husband. Chevy, are you Good thirsty? Water. Good you? water. Okay. So my parents are coming over today. That'll be uh, tomorrow's video. I just gotta end today's off for you. And Britt is making meatloaf for them while I'm over here trying to catch up on my videos so that I don't have to do that later. And then tomorrow is, well, it's Sunday when I'm recording this now, so then tomorrow would be Monday. Deliver that load Tuesday, truck's getting service. And I might be home Wednesday still yet, I'm not too sure. But it would be nice to just have a whole day to get stuff done and do a lot of nothing. Look at our backyard. Three feet of snow, no big deal. It's like a winter wonderland out there. I can't wait for summer. I'm sick of all this stuff. Any of you want some of the snow? I got too much. Come pick it up, it's free. Pepper. Liquid life, the most important component of all of this. Half of large onion. One egg, minced garlic, half a cup of oatmeal. The beef, I threw it in the microwave to defrost for a little bit. Yeah, I cheated twice, minced garlic. And I used the microwave. Oh no, I forgot the steak spice, hold on. Gotta be quiet, Diesel, she's vlogging. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm vlogging you vlog. <laughs> it's advertising, take it. 
The link is down below in the description of the video. Secret ingredient. Shh, don't tell anyone. What's your channel name, Britt? Britt's Beat. Britt's Beat. Hi. Oh, there's a fluffy guy in my face. You should put eyes on this. Googly eyes. Please, <laughs> please, please, please. That would be amazing. Googly eyes on this? Yes. Yes. And like one of those little, little Mr. Potato Head noses. Okay, maybe just the googly eyes. Let's keep it simple. Little arms. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm gonna end it on that note. Uh, I am serious though, her link is down below in the description. She has a much different theme on her channel than I have on my channel, obviously. That's uh, her channel, her life. A little girly, some people have said. She, uh, her theme is mostly dogs, if you guys like dogs. And other things that she's Please. interested in. Oh, that's her channel. There it is, secret ingredients. So go subscribe there if you feel like it. If not, hey, I hope to see you here tomorrow on TJV. Don't forget to subscribe.